Now let's talk about the fourth part of the duodenum. So in order to talk about the fourth part of the duodenum, we must uh, uh, go first go through the theory that what is fourth part of the duodenum is actually taking a turn upward. So you can say the fourth part of the duodenum actually runs upward, you know, upward, you know, you can say it is going upward and to the left of the uh, to the left of the duodenal duodenal flexure so we have got here duodenal duodenal flexure so this flexure is actually held in position by a peritoneal fold and uh, that one is also called the ligament of treats treads you know that one is triads i uh, spell it like this one t-r-e-i-t that there we have got another ligament of triads which is actually a peritoneal folding which actually holds uh, this duodeno duodenal flexure and the by attaching it to the, uh, to the which is actually attached to the right crest of your diaphragm kind of attaches to the diaphragm so there is a ligament attaching to the um, you know to the duodeno duodenal flexure and again uh, upward it is going to attach to the diaphragm which is at the right crest so this is it regarding the uh, theory of um, the duodenum. Now let's talk about the relations of the duodenum to different parts. So remember, anteriorly, if you're going to talk about, we have the beginning of the root of mesentery. I have just talked about root of mesentery. I've told you kind of root of mesentery kind of start here and cross this word. So that's why it is crossing anterior to the third part. But at the fourth part, actually starts here at the flexure. So we're gonna say the uh, you can or, or you can say the beginning of the beginning of the root of mesentery root of mesentery i'm just writing rm uh, in the short form and uh, coils of jejunum like there are the coils of jejunum surrounding anterior to it coils of jejunum right and if you talk about the posterior on the posterior side you can see we have got the left margin of the aorta so you're gonna say the left margin of aorta and if we're going to talk about the left margin of aorta and on the medial border we have got the uh, left swass muscle so we have another muscle swass muscle like muscle kind of goes this one this way so that one is your uh, medial side of your left swass muscle right uh, muscle so this is the relation of the fourth part of the duodenum to different structures that are surrounding it uh, so that's it regarding the fourth part of the duodenum. We have others. We have uh, we have. I have to make another detail, or you can small video in order and putting up uh, the whole concept together. And I'll explain that in the second part of this lecture. So keep visiting Tiger Schooling, and I'll explain that le that lecture in another video. See you for the next one.